it's that time of the year again to start talking about prospects and the overall image of what we have in our pipeline. Now, I do apologize because I did just come back from my vacation, and as you can sort of tell, I'm pretty sick right now, and it's actually kind of weird because my entire family, we all got this really bad cough, flu kind of thing right after coming back, and it's weird because all of us got this, and I'm here suffering with this as well, but... I still wanted to talk about Rathbone because I think that this is a very intriguing prospect, and it's finally time, in my opinion, to actually start talking about him. I didn't make a video earlier in the year, or even one year ago, about Rathbone because, first off, the statistics of his USHS high school league, they were very obscure throughout the season. You had to, like, pay for a membership or something in order to access the full database. But now that the season is finished, Jack Rathbone in his most recent US high school prep league season was able to grab himself 30 total points and 11 goals in 17 games played. Of course, he's a defenseman, and a left-handed shot defenseman at that. So, Rathbone coming into the Vancouver Canucks organization isn't really a guy who provides a completely brand new package. He is 5'10", 170 pounds, so he's not necessarily that big, tough defender that truly embodies the stereotypical hockey player. But, Rathbone makes up for all of that with his technicalities. Jack Rathbone was drafted in the fourth round of the 2017 NHL entry draft by the Canucks. And in the YouTube video of Jim Benning being mic'd up, you can see the crew that we're expected to be seeing, Benning, Weissbrod, Judd Brackett, and Jack Rathbone was called up particularly because of his skating. He is an elite skater, and as a guy who went in the fourth round, that's certainly something you like to see. At the Canucks Summer Showcase with all the prospects and all that, Rathbone was arguably better than Quinn Hughes, and... It's very interesting to note just how well he was able to play, how his game is such a good puck-moving transition kind of game, and he describes it himself as being a fourth-forward kind of situation with the way that he plays in the defensive zone. He's really good with the puck, and his skating is absolutely incredible. Now, does this mean that Jack Rathbone is an NHL regular? Obviously not, but it's a good set of qualities that we have in a prospect. And looking at Rathbone's season, he wasn't really all too impressive. I mean, taking a look at the entire league, Rathbone was third in points per game this past season for defenders, but of course, it's the high school leagues that we're talking about. Things are very interesting looking at this, especially considering the fact that Rathbone was born in 99, so he was an 18, 19 year old kid playing in this league. Now, obviously, he's supposed to dominate, which is kind of what he did in the limited 17 games that he did have, but next season, Rathbone is going over to Harvard University, which is the grand spectacle of a school that everybody looks at and says, yep, smart people. And Rathbone is going to have himself a good sample size to showcase what he's truly capable of doing against older guys. Because going into Harvard as a freshman defender, he's going to have all the opportunities here to be the best player that he can be. And be a player that Vancouver Canucks fans would be saying, yup, he was a fourth round steal. Just like Adam Gaudet was another player that we drafted from the US minor leagues and then went on to college to be really good. Considering the fact that Rathbone was indeed a very good presence at the Canucks Summer Showcase, there are big things in store for this player for sure. It's not just the high school leagues that he will be able to dominate, because playing in Rogers Arena alongside of other guys like Cole Lind, Hughes, Palmer, and every other one of these guys, Rathbone stood out as one of the best. So now, all that's left to do is watch his Harvard season begin, and take a look to see what we have in store with this player. Not to mention his incredible work ethic and family bonds, there was a really good story published about him and his family that I really won't want to get into here, but you can Google that on your own for the sake of your intrigue and interest. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Gaming, and bye. <laughs>